This is Ray. This is Andy. And this is FDS NFL. NFL Ray. NFL's back, it's Andy. It's back, finally. It's My back. Goodness. We last year we didn't have an actual NFL podcast. We were doing video uh, clips of, of NFL topics. Yeah, and I've had numerous people reach out to me, Andy, in the last year, saying, "Hey, are you guys ever going to talk NFL again?" Mm-hmm. And I'm like, "Well, we do on YouTube," and they're like, "No, we want to listen to it while podcast. we're." They want it on the podcast while they're driving, coming, going. So NFL's back. And uh, it's going to be a little bit different than the old NFL show that you guys knew in the past. Um, it's it, the this show is going to be inspired by our our FDS local sports as well as our FDL uh, FDS CFL show. How we've put those shows together. Yeah, we're going to try to make them a little faster, uh, make them a little quicker. We're going to you know hopefully around that thirty five minute mark if we can, and we're going to keep it very structured and we're going to stick to our segments on a weekly basis if we can. Uh, obviously some of our segments are going to be just talking about the news, right? But in the past, you know, there, as you guys know, if you listen to our shows in the past, Ray and I can sometimes get carried away for 45 minutes on a single topic. Yeah. Next thing you know, an hour and 17 minute podcast, we're going to try to keep things a little bit more structured, but I mean, it's going to be the same banter back and forth, right? Yeah. I mean, it's going to happen. It is. It's going to be... Especially if the Browns or Bills are involved. You know, I mean, we love talking CFL and other other sports, but the, we are all in on the Browns and Bills, and uh, the banter between Bills and Browns fans for this year, as well as probably the next few years, right. it's going to be quite interesting topics as we, as we go. And like our uh, FDS-CFL show, every one of these shows are going to be sponsored by Moose Light. Because Thanks. if you need a beer... Or, and Moose uh, Peach... Peach Mango Rattler. Peach Mango Rattler Basic, tonight, folks. Basically, Moosehead. You, you can't beat beer. that. Yeah. On a nice summer day, you can't go wrong with the Peach Mango Rattler. I mean, no, you shouldn't be able to go wrong with that. It's scary good, it's folks. Scary good. scary good. And if you need hats, like this hat I'm wearing right here, or T-shirts, or anything, Andy, anything with a logo, they should be going to Doyle's Corporate Image. Why? Because the Doyle's rule. The Doyle's rule. That's right. right. Now... Let's get into breaking down. We're going to talk to you guys a little bit how we're going to run this show. So every week, we're going to pick three games, Andy. Why don't you tell them what three games we're going to cover? Well, technically, we're going to pick one game, and then we're always going to cover the Browns and Bills game if they are playing. Now, if either of those teams are on a bye week, then we uh, we will cover a bonus game. Don't worry if you're not a Browns fan or a Bills fan. There's two things to think about. Number one. Our teams may be playing your team. Right. You'll want to hear us talk about that. Uh, And number two, well, we're going to keep them short. That's right. It's going to be short. short. It's going to be real tight, maybe three to five minutes tops on the game recaps. Yep. And then at the end of each show on a weekly basis, Ray and I are going to pitch to each other what we think the game of the week to recap the following week should be. We'll have a little bit of a discussion. We'll debate it back and forth, and eventually we'll come to a consensus that this will be the third game of the week, and we will both watch that one in depth, dive all the way in. We watch a lot of games in depth, but yeah. this one in particular, we will watch all the way uh, through, fine tooth comb, and recap it. There you go. Yep. After we get done our recaps, we're going to get into a fun segment that I used to love doing, and I don't have my sounder set up, Andy. We're going to have to make sure we got the sounder set up. I'll do the sounder for you. Go ahead and do it. What the? (laughs) Okay, we were both doing the sounder. Pretty good. Mine sounded a little odd. Yeah, yours sounded a little scratchy. I think I need a drink of Moose Light. (laughs) I think you need a drink of Moose Light. That was was a terrible car horn. Anyways, we're going to have the Andy rant with an R and the Ray rant with a W, so stay tuned tuned for that yeah then we're going to talk fantasy football andy fantasy's back you're having what your last draft tonight my last draft tonight is a uh high stakes uh dynasty league put dynasty. on by a buddy of yours from work yeah and uh, it is my final of eight leagues that i'm drafting for eight um, leagues it is it's that's a, a full-time job pretty much man so you know you gotta you gotta prioritize and i like to prioritize based on how much uh, money. Uh, yeah, yeah, how much money's involved in it? It's a full one point per PPR league dynasty. I've only ever been involved in two dynasty leagues. I think I've told you this story before. Neither one of them ever made it to year two due to absolute <laughs> drama. So if you're asking me tonight, am I going to be drafting for the long haul or am I going to be drafting to win this year? I'm drafting to win this year because I have no reason to believe that this dynasty league will see year two 
But Jamie Drisdale, the man who's running this show, guarantees that uh, that we will. All right, there you go. All right, so we will be talking fantasy, and we'll be talking about who to start, who to sit, and we're going to spend some time on that uh, once we get our teams in place and, and, and get them going. Um, then we are going to have another familiar uh, segment, odds and ends. So this is where we're going to talk about news around the NFL. So you don't have to worry about the fact that our – our game recaps the odds and ends are going to be on anything going on in the nfl yeah uh for example andy just i got a couple topics here shady mccoy was just released by the bills Mm -hmm. and signed by uh kansas city's going back with andy reed i think this is going to have a huge impact uh for for the uh, kansas city chiefs this year i think it's going to add to that passing game for patrick mahomes give him another target out of the backfield yeah i think it's going to be an interesting move for the chiefs yeah and i think it'll be probably a, a rather underwhelming move to be honest with you uh i think shady mccoy has lost a step both uh laterally and vertically all I've heard from Bills fans over the past three or four years is that this guy does not run north and south at all. He dances around You've heard way me too say much. it. You've heard me so say it. So we'll see what happens. But I think, uh, hey, listen, he's a good enough player that he is going to impact. Their offense just got a little better. I don't think we're going to see a huge, uh, huge contribution. But we'll see. We're heading into week one. Both Ezekiel Elliott and Melvin Gordon are not... Um, signed on the roster yet although there's been rumors that the Cowboys and Elliot are close to a deal and Elliot got on a flight today heading back to Dallas in case yeah. in case they can come to terms so he can play for week one to clarify they are both signed on the roster but they are both holding out at this point uh, and refusing to report due to the fact that they want new deals new and, deals yeah. and listen we're talking about two completely different players here Zeke Elliot is the bread and butter of that offense he is probably he's arguably at least the best player at his position in the entire nfl um and he is worth uh the holdout in my opinion and jerry jones is going to pony up and pay this guy melvin gordon on the other hand not so sure he's been a little shaky since his rookie season yeah he was good last year but at this point to try to pull a a Le'Veon bell type uh move trying to reset the market or get that type of money like todd Gurley type money yeah listen whether you think todd Gurley was worth that money or not melvin gordon unlike Le'Veon bell you can't afford to sit out this season you especially can't afford to sit out enough games that you lose this season as accrued towards your contract because you're not a free agent anytime soon so uh i hope very much that melvin gordon reports it sounds as though he has no intentions to report for week one if there is a holdout ray though my uh my prediction at this point is it will be very short-lived the player will report you think so? Yeah. The 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 Chargers have been very clear. They are not they are negotiating. Cheap. They're cheap. We are done yeah. negotiating with you. It's either sit out for the year and or report fine. Or, or, fine and fine and, and, or or uh, report. So we'll see what happens with Melvin Gordon. I don't expect him for week one. No, no. I think that's pretty much ruled out at this point. But I don't expect this to be a long holdout. Okay. Yeah. The, from there, we're going to move into what's called our overreaction segment. Yep. Um, just a quick example of what that might be is the fact that Brady's house has officially been put on the market in New England, Andy. Yeah. He's leaving. He's gone from New England. Yep. Yeah, that's an option. Ray will toss that out to me, and, and I'll uh, basically say whether or not I think he's over or underreacting. But it'll also be stats-driven and, and performance-driven. So let's say, for instance, the... Um, uh, Patrick Mahomes goes two games in a row where he does not throw a touchdown. All of a sudden, Patrick Mahomes is a bust, or Patrick, or uh, the Chiefs made a mistake uh, going all in on Patrick Mahomes, or Kareem Hunt leaving completely altered the offense, and now there's too much on his shoulders. Is this an overreaction? Something along those lines mm. um, is how that segment's going to work. All right, there you go. From there, Andy, we've got a big segment, and this is where we pick our weekly games, and we're going to pick four picks and and one underdog. Yeah, we're basically going to pick five games every week. We're going to call the winners and losers, not against the spread at this point. It's going to be straight-up winners, and at least one of those those games uh, has to be considered the underdog winning. Right. That's about it. So, and basically, what's an underdog look? If uh, if you're favored to win with the with the spread, then you're the favorite. Yeah, and our picks are just straight pick 'em, straight, straight, 
straight picks, okay? So you want to make our picks for week one? Let's make our picks for week one. All right, you Who want me you? to start or you? You go. All right, so here's my picks for the week one. I have J- uh, the Chiefs beating the Jags on the road. That's mm. one of my picks. I will take the Eagles to beat the Redskins at home. I will take the Seahawks to beat the Bengals at home. Not all big stretches here, eh, Ray? Uh, I will take the Ravens to beat Miami on the road. And my upset this week is I will have the Bills beating the Jets in New York. The Jets are favored by a field goal, and I think the Bills are going to beat them. I think the Jets still have a few lingering injuries uh, on the offensive line, and I just I think the Bills are going to beat them regardless. There you go. Our picks were very similar. Okay. I initially had, you can see, I had Kansas City over the Jags. Okay. I decided to take that one out, and I'll with these games i got baltimore over miami uh i got the chargers over the colts even though i circled the colts there i got chargers over the colts okay i got philadelphia over washington seahawks over cincy and my upset of the week andy okay sit down for this one it's the pittsburgh steelers over the new england patriots Woo! in week one. Oh boy uh that's my upset so listen if uh if if this happens then then i can almost guarantee one of our overreaction uh conversations for next week is going to be whether or not the patriots are just not going to make the playoffs anymore. exactly yeah it's exactly crazy. okay all right andy we've got to pick our game of the week yeah uh the game that we're going to be recapping uh next week um, just to toss it out there, Kansas City, the Jags. I want to see Patrick Mahomes. I want to see Shady McCoy there. I want to see uh, Tyreek Hill with all his offseason uh, drama that he went through. I want to see what kind of shape he looks like in week one. Yep. Uh, what do you've got for game of the week? When I looked at the lineup this week, there was really only one game. Uh, you know, the Houston at New Orleans game is somewhat interesting because I kind of want to see what's going on. Uh, that with that Texans uh, offense, which is going to have to carry the team this year. And New Orleans is just a team, like it's a buzzy team that everybody's picking. But that was interesting until I looked at uh, the the late game on Sunday. And when I saw Pittsburgh at New England, which you've already mentioned to Mm. me, there was no other game in week one at all that I could fathom being my game of the week to talk about than that one. So uh, my vote is for Pittsburgh, New England. Well, you know what? We got to take that one because, especially if Pittsburgh knocks off New England, I'm going to want to talk about that game. Oh yeah, you're gonna you're gonna have the opportunity to say that you were right numerous times. Yeah, and you will definitely take it. I think so. All right, right. there you go. So that's going to be there. That's our game of the week: Pittsburgh at New England. And uh, folks, (laughs) that is how our podcast is going to work. This really is just an introduction episode to kind of let you know we're back. And, and 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 this is how we're gonna run our our, uh, our podcast. The goal again is yes, we're Bills fans and Browns fans, but our goal is to talk about as much NFL as possible. If you have a topic that you want us to talk about, go to our Facebook page, shoot us a message, or go to our Twitter account and hashtag uh, FDS NFL with your questions or topics. We'll talk about it. We love talking NFL. And, uh, you know... any topic is on the table for us, right, Andy? 100%. And since we're going to be talking Browns and Bills games every week, don't worry, our odds and end segment is not going to cover Browns and Bills related things. I mean, it would take something very, very big to 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 occupy your ears with more Browns and Bills stuff. Don't worry, odds and ends will be very much away from the Bills. And again, um, we're, we'll try our best to spread around um, our game of the week that we're going to recap uh, amongst the various fan bases, especially the ones that we know have uh, have have listeners. We yeah, have exactly. listeners on. So um, that's it, Ray. I mean, a quick, short, and little uh, podcast to kick off the NFL because we had no games to actually talk about. But listen, I, I've got one final question I'm going to ask you before we get out of here, and this is sort of a bonus segment that will not be every week. You've already heard my thoughts on what I think is going to happen this week uh, with the Bills and, and the uh, and the Jets. I think the Bills are going to pull off the win on the road. I think it will be a competitive game, but I do think the Bills are going to pull it out. Tell me what you think about your Bills and Jets 
um, right before you give me your prediction for the Browns game. But just how do you see this game going? What are you thinking about as a Bills fan going into this Jets-Bills game on the road? Well, okay, so first of all, let me talk about Browns. Okay. Um, I think that the Browns are going to go down and play a very competitive game against uh, Mariota and the uh, – yep. Um, I, you know, being there in, uh, for the draft, it's, it's in Cleveland. So it's, this is not in, this is in Cleveland. Tennessee is coming. To oh, Cleveland. sorry. I thought it was the opposite. Okay, okay. Sorry. I didn't check that, but listen, um, if it's at home, I got the Browns all the way then. Okay. Um, I do think Mariota, I, I just have never really trusted him as a quarterback. I want to see how Baker bounces back from that last season you know from from the loss they had to end last year i want to see him bounce back this year with a big win he's got a lot of big targets obj that's going to be a real interesting uh factor in this game i i see the browns winning that game uh Handedly oh, wow. over the Titans. Okay, there you well, go. just so you know, before you get to the Bills really quickly, I'm nervous about it because, you know, I find like every year everybody takes the Titans for granted and they're actually better than anybody thinks. The Browns have not managed to win a, a home opener more than one time since a return in 1999. And yes, the hype is rampant. And yes, in some cases, the hype is real about the Browns in terms of the talent that they have on paper. But I am extremely nervous and I'm just going to leave it at that. What do you think is going to happen with the Bills game? Well, I, I'm nervous too. Um, listen, the Bills have a lot a lot more weapons. They have an offensive line now. We It's the first time we've had a decent, healthy offensive line. I, I want to see how these five guys gel in week one. Um, Le'Veon Bell scares me a little bit. I don't know what, to, what Bell are we going to see. Is it going to be mm. the Bell that we saw two years ago? Or... This guy's been out of football for a year, Andy. He didn't play any preseason. Mm-hmm. Is he going to be, you know, you know, does he need a couple games to get back to the bell that, that we're used to seeing? Um, but the Bills defense, I'm really happy with the Bills defense. Mm-hmm. Again, I think you're right, too. I think both these teams are, you know, they're young teams, and uh, I think it's going to be a very close game. And, and, I gotta lean my Bills way. I gotta lean the Bills way, but it's going to it's going to be a tight one. If Josh Allen comes out and bombs to his no target, Josh Brown or John Brown downfield four yeah. or five times for touchdowns, I'm happy with it though. And, and, I'm John, happy. and John Brown is fully healthy. Did he did he get much play in the preseason at all? Or he uh, games uh, one and three, he he got into the game and and uh, him and Allen had connection right away. Cole Beasley, mm-hmm. watch out for him. Him and Allen really nice possession receiver. Oh yeah. my goodness, he's going to be great for third downs on those. You know, last year what Allen would do is he'd get out of the pocket and he'd scramble and make a stupid play downfield. Right. Now he can stay in the pocket and Beasley can make those third downs for him. Perfect. All right. Well, guys, there you go. We told you we wouldn't give you too much Browns and Bills, and we finished this one off with, with a Browns, Browns and, Bills. and Bills. So let's get <laughs> out of here, Red. All right, guys. Thanks again for tuning in. Hey, down below... If you're watching us on YouTube, and we should talk about YouTube real right, quick. Yeah. Let's just talk about that. So Ray mentioned that this is uh, this show is going to be inspired by FD, uh, our local sports show and CFL. Now, both those shows are recorded audio, and we also post the entire show uh, on video. We're not sure we're going to do that with the with the NFL. We're thinking because we've 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 also become more accustomed to posting NFL content as shorter segments on YouTube. Yeah. We're thinking this is going to be an audio show and if there is a segment uh, that was especially that we thought might be entertaining in the YouTube space, then we will go ahead and post it as a video. At the moment that's the plan. We'll that's see what plan. happens, but this is the first episode uh, and this one is on YouTube. This so one you is on YouTube. You may be watching this on YouTube. You may be watching it. And hey, if you want to see all our episodes on on YouTube and again, these are going to be between 30 to 35, 40 minutes if we need to go into overtime. But um, that's the goal for this. And if you want to see it on YouTube, tell please us. tell us. Give us that in your feed, uh, feedback on, on YouTube and we will make it happen for you. you but go. outside that, you'll be listening to this podcast audio. So please subscribe to us, uh, like us, comment. Give us your rating. Let us know what you think uh, week to week on how we're doing. All of that stuff. All right. That's the the show for this week. Guys, enjoy week one, right? I haven't done this in so long. It's been a while. It's been a while. We'll catch you guys next week. Woo! Oh, my goodness. That's embarrassing. Airmail. (laughs) Airmail.